So I made a mistake. The 35Xs are open back dynamic headphones. Not like their 400i. What I would really think is literally the 400i um, re... <laughs> what is it called? Like reimagined? <laughs> There is a 400i 2020 version, I believe, but the shell, the headband strap design, everything is the exact same, except the 400i's are magnetic planners. You can even see that right there in the camera, hopefully, that there's just magnets there, and uh, that's how you get your sound. Magnetic planners are very good in the mid-range and the high range. And right here from Drop, <clears throat> I have here the HE35Xs from hi -Fi Man and Drop, and they are dynamic headphones, not magnetics. But it's not going to hurt because uh, I'm going to still compare them together. And at the same time, for around the same price, even though these are on sale, let's just go to the let's go to the web page real quick for you guys. Um. They're $75 USD on Drops website. They have some pictures here. They also have some graphs. You're into that kind of info. But you can see already there's just lots of funky stuff going on. The higher range is just gone. And then you, you, whatever's going here from 2K to oh, around 4-ish, I don't really know. <laughs> That's very, very boosted. But although there's lots of complaints from other uh, other reviewers about um, sibilance and um, its weird sound, I guess I have to try it for myself. I bought these because they were hecka cheap. I mean, $75 open back headphones. I was hoping that these would come first, but they didn't. They didn't come first. I actually got the 500Xs first. Um, but I mean, I can't even compare them because, again, these are dynamic headphones, not magnetic planners. I have to remember that. But out of the headphones I've actually listened to, though, I have to say that, like, AKGs and uh, old DT48 series from Bear Dynamic, yeah, sure, they, they sound amazing, but, I mean, there's some clarity differences for sure when it comes to age, you know? When it's old, I think it'll still always sound old. And then when it's new, it might sound just exponentially better. I think that the 5XXs are the best set of headphones that I own. And the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because I thought the same way about the 400 eyes. When I first listened to these, these I thought these were open. I thought that these were uh, had amazing imaging. I, I thought that um, the mids and the highs, again, with what uh, magnetic planners are supposed to be really well known for, I thought, this, I thought this was spectacular. But it's not like it's not spectacular. It's just that the 400 eyes came. Uh, not 400 eyes. Uh, the 5XXs came. And then also the Budget King, if I were to really think about it, the AD500Xs from Audio Technica, um, the Air Series. Uh, these are, again, the 500s. I honestly love these things. Um, and I would say that in terms of comparison, uh, for the price point, and also because luckily enough, these are also dynamics. Dynamic open back, dynamic open back. These will actually have a head-to-head -head for me as I listen to my tracks. Again, I always listen to Spotify, Michael Jackson's Rock With You, um, Slow by Yuatsu, Home. I listen to Resonance and also Above All from Home. And then Casey Lee Williams sings in um, Time to Say Goodbye. It's from the Ruby online web series from Rooster Tooth, Rooster Teeth. So yeah. I'm still going to compare to 400 eyes and 35Xs because the shell is exactly the same, but of course, magnetic planar versus dynamics. But dynamic headphones should have really epic bass, so I'm going to go on a whim here and say uh, right away that I'm going to expect that there should be nothing going on with the low end that I'm not happy with. I've been listening to dynamics. We've all been listening to dynamics for, for most of our lives, haven't we? Until we delve into all this audio file shit. So, 35Xs. I have to say that the box presentation when I originally had this, it was wrapped, unlike the 5XXs. What the heck? And inside of the box, there was these big air pocket bag things. It's basically bubble wrap on steroids. 
This thing was protected to hell, but the the five XXs didn't have any of that in the box. So consistency, please drop consistency. Twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz, nineteen ohm impedance, uh, ninety eight decibel efficiency, and then it weighs at three hundred thirty grams. Besides that, all around the box, you probably have like a serial code, I think, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Now, it's gonna let this drop out. Again, I already opened this and I already talked a little bit about it. I'm gonna try to make this nice and brief because uh, I was so upset. <laughs> Kept the same magnetic planner the entire time. The cable's the exact same as the 400 eyes. It's uh, gold plated, um, dual entry. So you got your left and your right here is labeled and you also have a qu quarter inch adapter um, that goes into this 3.5 millimeter right angle um, plug now the headphones it's so minimal there's the thing i like about these drop headphones so far is that there's literally nothing in here absolutely nothing it's super duper minimalistic it's it's great it's beautiful it's, it's actually beautiful <laughs> sorry headphones when i was first holding on to these i was like these are legitimately 400 eyes they, they, they have the same shell. This is just a little bit um, darker uh, compared to the 400 eyes here. This plastic is like a chrome finish compared to what looks like a more matte, metallic, blackish or grayish color. Um, the side panel, that was something that I was so scared of uh, when I was holding the 35Xs. This is nice and thick. I think it's plastic. It might be metal. I don't know, but it's thick when i was holding on to the three five x's this stuff it just feels loose and it feels l thinner it feels thinner you can even see it in the i think i i don't think i pointed this out already just just doing it again as you can see this is a magnetic planner there's magnets in there and there's a thin piece of metal sheet thing it moves around like this Electricity stuff. You know, you don't have to care about that. These are dynamics. You can maybe see it in there, maybe. I don't want to take it apart. I don't do that on this channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, 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 it's got, it looks like a speaker cone and it go boof. You know, big old difference. Headband design is the exact same. Labeling on the left and right, basically exact same. It's more matte on this. This is a lot more reflective. Let me just take away my camera for you. It's a lot more reflective. It could be because of hand grease, but even the hanger and the plastic and the logo, it's more shiny compared to the 3.5Xs. I mean, I don't think you're gonna care too much about that. It's not like you're gonna be looking at the sides of these as you're listening to music, right? It's got the same band here and also the same mechanism for moving this up and down. I haven't actually done that yet. And oh my God, that's nice and tight. That's, that's a good thing. That's actually a, that's a solid good thing. It's staying in there. I already know how high I need this to go. It's a little tough. I'm also very shaky, I'm very scared of breaking something. Now, the uh, pads, these are hybrid pads, hybrid pads. Yeah pad for mine it's a little dusty but uh my 400 eyes it's got leather on the outside what felt like velour and i think it's i think it's velour and on the inside it's perforated leather breathable okay same thing for these we have leather on the outside what feels like velour on the inside and a perforated um leather on the inside Everything on this feels and looks the exact same as the 400 eyes. That's it. That's really all I can say about it. Besides the chrome finish on the like outside shell of the cups compared to the 35Xs, where it's just darker gray, the looks and the, and, and the feel, the weight. But something that also got me was the weight. The, 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 this feels... Definitely lighter than the magnetic planner, 400 eyes. But if I were to be really honest, they, they just feel almost the exact same. 
damn, I feel like these are lighter, but they feel like the exact same. Now, now, it's to listen to these. So I'm going to be right back with you guys. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to listen to the tracks, and I'm going to just compare it between the 400 dice and the 35Xs. And of course, I am going to throw in the Audio Technicus, because I think that that comparison would be a little bit better. These normally go for um, street price, okay? Uh, I picked these up for like 80 bucks, I think. 80 bucks, yeah, Canadian. Uh, you can probably, yeah, for like the same price of these on sale, um, these would be a nice top contender, even though these are old and these are new. But they're both open bank dynamics. So let's give these a listen. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, okay. I think, I think I know, I think I know what, what I'm thinking here. So, the three five X's sound, it, it might be just because of those boosts in the high end. They sound a lot more clear than these. The 400 eyes. They sound a lot more clear, okay? Um, and is that is that necessarily like like I, I don't really I don't know how to how to like I didn't really actually intend this. I just wanted to unbox this. I didn't want to full on actually <laughs> compare it, but I have to say right now that the 400 eyes to me just sound very muffled and disturbing and gross. And I was running, I was driving these really hard too, actually. Um, on the Magni 3, I'm using the Focusrite 2i2 3rd Gen as my DAC, and I'm running it through the speaker outs quarter inches, and from there it goes into um, RCA in, uh, and I'm using the Magni 3 to amplify the sound. Okay, It's double amplified. You can hate me. Anti-aliasing, I don't care. It's the only solution I got. And I have to say that with this, with these at max gain, these are not as loud as these. Understandable. Magnetic planners tend to be just a little more, a little more hungry. So I could have put this on high gain, but I didn't want to. And then I, for a dollar, like a hundred, I, I, I moved it back to around three o'clock, and I plugged in the thirty-five Xs, and they uh, are impactful. Bass just sounds wonderful on these. Something about the bass. I can't get over that. The bass. The bass on these are kind of they're kind of funky. I like it. Um, maybe it's because I haven't listened to funky bass in such a long time. Funky in a good way? Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. But then it hit me. There's one song where there's something about the bass and the coloration from the AKGs that um, it sounds nice and it has to be above all. Um, and when I was listening to above all, it's there. The that freaking bass line, okay? That was the most horrible rendition. It sounds the same as this, as Audio Technica 8500Xs. But then I started a being them. Because I was always A-Bing the 400 eyes and the 35Xs, and then I started A-Bing the Audio Technicas, and oh my god, <laughs> I kind of remembered why I fell in love with these, and why they're beside me at my desk right now. Totally not because I have no space for headphones, but because if I wanted a headphone I just wanted to listen to stuff with, it actually might be these. I mean, now listen, it's really hard to compare these headphones because again, this is magnetic planners. These are $75 US and these these are it may be cheaper, okay? Might might be cheaper and they're not even the same brand. But they are these two at least are dynamic open backs. And something about the Air series, Audio Technica did really good on these. I don't know if you can buy these new anymore. Uh, I never really bothered to check, but I got these used and it made me fall in love with the series. Um, and I really do want to get 900s or 1,000 or 2,000s, 
Um, God forbid I forked the money over and buy the 5,000s. But this is just spacious. This is, it's still got that texture in the base. You still get the base. That's the thing I like about Dynamics is in Dynamic headphones, they'll never suffer from not giving you base. Magnetic planars, you just don't really get it. They don't. Um, maybe they do, and I'm not really f looking, looking, hearing in the right place. I, I don't know, but it, I don't feel it. The sub base in this is just almost not even there. And I mean, again, magnetic planners. But it's the same shell. And when I was listening to these, I was like, they have the same qualities as these. Like, they... Uh, the, the mid section that that hump i kind of understand why they did it now and i can see why people might find that annoying uh, i think for me uh, people are sensitive to different kinds of frequencies for me i'm not as sensitive to higher frequencies i'm more sensitive to the lower end and i honestly feel that because when I was playing slow now listen slow by Yuatsu his his intro in that song is just it's high um highs for days and and it at first that hurt me but then the more I started listening to the song uh even though these are loud I was just like okay okay cool nice you exist perfect let me just boost this again put these at the right volumes Yeah, like, these these just sound muffled now compared to the Audio-Technicas. And, yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh, God. I have, a hum I have a humongous hunch that... that what these 35Xs were trying to do were maybe fix the issues the 400 eyes had. Because I have a feeling now, because they're basically the exact same shell, but they have different drivers... The shell is actually what's holding back um, the headphone acoustically. Maybe. Yeah, um, this is just me speaking out loud, okay? Uh, <laughs> totally not informed, but dynamic, magnetic planners, these sound muffled compared to these, and then these sound muffled compared to these. These sound what I think is um, neutral and, and uh, high fidelity. You know what I mean? Like, it, it sounds clear. There's some clarity to this. It loses all that uh, somewhere. And uh, we saw in the graph that the, the stupid highs are just, like, gone. Right? They're gone on that graph. They're, they're completely gone. Um, we, we, even, we even see, as well, that uh, there should be some really bad sibilance issues. And actually, if anything, it just popped the drums out. For me... These would be nice if you want to isolate drums. You don't want to care about the vocalist. You don't want to care about the guitar. <laughs> maybe guitar, maybe. Uh, you can, maybe, maybe, maybe. Lead guitar, maybe. Um, the bass, you can still hear it. But honestly, the one thing that I wanted to pay attention to the most, though, or it forced me to pay attention to, was the drums. The drums were what came out on these headphones. Um... So I have a feeling that if you want to hear drums, because of that, because of that weird wacko thing in the ground, I think the, I think these are, these are really good for listening to drums. That's that's made, you know, uh, <laughs> it sounds so. This sounds like a weird conclusion to make from it, but yeah, like I actually am baffled that the four hundred eyes just don't sound as, as beautiful. Maybe there's something wrong here. You know, uh, maybe something happened to my pair. Maybe they weren't broken into. They, they, like, they actually send you a card it's like in the box and it says, you better wear these uh, and, and have audio playing through them for 15 minutes. At least minimum 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15 hours. 15 hours uh, to break them in. But I thought magnetic planners were like nice and clean and stuff when I first heard this. But, but then... Well, sadly, the tuning on the 3.5Xs, uh, they they sound to me perceivably more detailed. Uh, but 
just because you boosted the highs and that midsection, it doesn't really necessarily mean that these are better. So for open back dynamics, I really wouldn't look at the 400 eyes. They're again, magnetic planners, but they're the same shell. But if you want magnetic planners, check out the 2020s or fork the money over and get the 500 X's. Okay. The five X X's because, uh, of the headphones that I've had in my possession, the five XXs definitely do sound the best uh, out of all the headphones I, I own. They sound they sound so good. But the three five Xs, I don't know where they stand in my collection. I don't know where they I don't know where they they sit. But I'm gonna keep them because. They're, they're comfortable. They were enjoyable for the base. The low end is just amazing. Cameras focusing in it, unfocusing. I'm so sorry. But if you, I think a major takeaway from this is if you can get a cheap 500X, okay, maybe even the 700s or the 900s for the same price, um, I would suggest look into the series because they, they are... If anything, uh, these two are what are actually truly competing. It's these two headphones. And um, these just these just blow this out of the park. Like, like uh, this just sounds so much more airy. There's a lot more space. The imaging's insane on these, even though it's the lowest model uh, in the lineup. But the 35Xs, they're, they're intimate. Lots of bass, but it's good bass it's a good bass but um the boosts in the high uh well in the mids the mid like the mids um some people might not like it again i didn't i wasn't annoyed but i think what was annoying was that yeah all i could hear was drums drums the splash symbol the crash symbol the the, the hi-hats um that top sparkle of a snare you hear it with these you lose it with the 400 eyes. You lose it with the 400 eyes. And this just, just smoothens everything out, uh, out of the three. So take with that what I've said, what you, what you will. Um, 35X is from Drop. I wanted to even compare the boxes, but I don't really have enough time for that. But man, I, I have to say that it was it was actually worth the wait because it's so interesting that this is a case um, or a scenario where we have two headphones with two different kinds of drivers. And even though one's like tuned to hell in a sense, and then one's just like whatever the, whatever the manufacturer thought was, was cool, you know, to, to release with, with this for, as a magnetic planner, even though, you know, they're two different kinds of headphones, they're the same shell, they're the exact same headphone, physically but um in terms of the driver and the uh, and the science um the impedance and all that jazz electronically um these just wipe these out of the park for me like i i, I like i like i like what i like how these sound like and I, I like that bass this just lacks that bass and um the mids and the highs just aren't really as uh, they don't really pop as much um I'm going to quickly pause. I'm going to listen to one more track on high gain and boost boost these just 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 a tiny bit cuz I want to see if driving them a little harder might bring something out of them that I'm not that I may be missing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just let me take back so much stuff. Holy crap. Uh I didn't even compare it to the 35Xs cuz I knew what was going to probably happen if I boosted it um with high gain. Um, and and what I mean is high gain on the Magni, um, to get a little more of that juice out. Uh, wow, wow, like when I got these a little louder, that little sheen of muffleness is kind of gone. Um. Specifically, I was listening to um, 
time to say goodbye. And the only issue I had with that track, uh, 400 Eyes and the 35Xs, uh, was that in the 35Xs, yeah, the drums come out and the singer's kind of lost. Um, Casey Williams is lost. In both of those headphones, uh, well, the Audio Technicas and, and these, uh, the 400 Eyes, they, they, they definitely, they definitely keep everyone in check. Uh, but these still come up on top. They're a little brighter. These are definitely a bright headphone. And these are definitely a dark headphone. These are definitely a colored headphone. I think that's where I'm going to end it there. Okay. Um, the 400 eyes, actually, if you really, if you really just give it just a little bit more juice, like it's not that loud music sounds better. It's just that these maybe needed to be driven a little bit more um, to get that sound out of them. Uh, I've actually never really considered that uh, before i mean i did with these like i drove these to frick like i know how these sound like when they're a little loud um when they're it's a little bit of stuff going through it um so uh, i wasn't expecting much different from what i've already heard but definitely the 400 eyes they sound on this they, they they sound honestly super duper similar to 500 x's but it's like their dark brother but even though again those are magnetic planners they still don't have bass impact like 500x's. They don't. They don't have bass like the oomph. Even in above all, there, the, there's a texture to the bass that's kind of lost in it. It's just muffled and, and weird. But in its dynamic brother, the 35x, uh, this gets that bass texture that I really like in above all. Uh, but then it, it just. Uh, it loses me with vocals uh, on time to say goodbye. So, yeah, that's 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 it. That's that's all. That's all that he wrote. Um, take care. Be be safe. Um, I, I didn't intend this to be twenty seven minutes, and again, like a shootout between the three headphones. But I had four hundred eyes. I had to. I had to. They're they're the same headphones. Just one's magnetic planner, and then one's dynamic, and then. I thought it would be unfair if I just compared it to a magnetic planner. I have a dynamic open back. I might as well try both and uh, see what they both sound like A, B. And the 35Xs are trying really, really hard to sound um, far away from what they should sound like. And, and what they should sound like, I don't know. I don't EQ. So um, whatever whatever's going on here, Mm, it's probably an attempt to fix whatever the shell is bugging up. That has to be the explanation for that. It has to be the explanation for it. So take care, be safe. Goodbyes.